welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick little review on some new Tarte products. So the other day I got an email from Sephora telling me that I had reached the 500 point reward benchmark. And I was like, that's weird because last time I checked I only had the 250. So I kind of started getting nervous like somebody's using my account. Oh my gosh. So I went on and looked at my account and I saw that there had been several purchases that have been credited to my account that had been made inside of a Sephora, inside of a JCPenney's, like an in-store purchases, and there's like several of them, and they were all being accounted to my account. And so I was like, okay, that's weird. I know that they didn't use any of my money or anything, but if this person, whoever this is, is, you know, buying stuff and using my account, whether they're aware of it or not, can do they have access to my saved credit card information online? So I contacted Sephora and I was like, hey, something's going on here. Like, someone else's purchases are being credited to my account and I'm kind of concerned about my information that I have saved on there, you know. And so they emailed me back and they said that somebody had been typing in, I guess the clerk at that store that this woman has been shopping at, had, she had been typing in the wrong email address and was typing my email address in every time instead of the girl's email address that was purchasing it. We must have had similar email addresses. So um, they let me keep all the points though, which is amazing. So with the points, as you know at Sephora, if you reach 500 points and you can get some pretty cool free things. And so I went ahead and picked up the reward that was at the time, which is little samples of the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. They have several products that they came out with, and I don't know that this is all of the, like, I don't know if I got a sample of every single one of the products in the Rainforest of the Sea collection, but I did get quite a few, and I have tried every single one of them out, so I have reviews for you on these things. So let's just get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is the foundation. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. Um, it's supposed to be lightweight water foundation that's supposed to give you radiant, moisture-rich coverage. And it's supposed to be a 12-hour formula infused with algae and marine extracts that help soothe skin and defend against premature signs of age, age, aging. aging. So it comes in 12 different shades and they're all listed here. And it gave me four sample shades. Um, and I went ahead and applied light neutral, which is this third one down here. And I'm super pale and I need at least one of these two. So when I tried it on, it was a little bit too dark, but I just wanted to try the formula. This formula was all right. It wasn't my favorite though. It's, I couldn't really tell that it was water-based. And it did make my skin dewy though. It definitely did that. So if that's something you're looking for in a foundation, a glowy, luminous summer foundation, then this one might be a good one for you. And it's supposed to be lightweight and it's supposed to have like skin benefits to it. But it just kind of sunk into my pores. And I kind of, right now, I'm on the oily side for my skin, so it did not work for me. Just take that into account when you're thinking about purchasing this. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And the bad thing about this little sample box I got here of all these products, it doesn't really explain them. Only the foundation was explained. So this, I looked it up online because I wanted to know the best way to use it. And it said the best way to use it was to, it's, it can be a setting spray, a primer, or just a face mist of some sort. So I've been trying this out and I love the way it smells. I can't describe it. I was thinking today when I was putting it on my face, how am I going to describe this in the video I'm doing? It is kind of citrusy, but it's not like, if you think of citrus, you might think of orange. It does not smell like oranges. Oh, it just kind of smells, but it has a citrusy feel to it, but it's a different fruit other than orange. I don't know what it is though. So, but it is a really refreshing scent, a very summery, appropriate scent, um, very fresh, light, fruity, and I have been really pleased with the results of this. I have used, I used it as a primer one time. I did not like the results I got with that simply because it just made me more glowy and I don't want to look any more glowy right now. Um, but if you do, then it would be good for that. But I've been using it as a setting spray, so I've been using it on, on top of all my makeup 
So I'll finish all my makeup and then just spray this on. It gives me a nice fresh smell to my face. And I think it really not only does it lock everything in place, but it also gives me just a hint of dewiness because obviously when you first spray it on, it gets real wet and it looks real dewy, but it kind of dries out. So I actually really love this. I think out of everything in this collection, this has been my favorite thing. And I might consider purchasing this full size because I love it so much. All right, the next thing is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. And I've only used this once. I have not used it with my uh, Sonic, it's not It's not Clarisonic, but like a Clarisonic type brush. I haven't used it with that yet, so I don't know if it foams up. I've just used it with my fingers, but this is a very oily uh, cleanser. And so if you're not, again, I think this whole Rainforest of the Sea collection is just geared to make you look watery, which I guess makes sense. But not really f ideal for girls like you know me who don't want to look more oily than they already look on their own um but i think it does clean makeup off pretty well since it does kind of have like an oily base and the next thing i got is a nice sample size of the tarte lights camera lashes mascara this is not new this is an oldie but a goodie um it's just it just looks like this it's just a really really nice mascara i mean it's not super unique or anything, but it's just a nice mascara, so. All right, and I have three lip products here. I don't think this one is new either. Maybe it is, it doesn't say. But this is just a, I will put what this is called right here since I can't think of the name. Um, but this is essentially just like a tinted lip balm and it's in the shade Nude and it comes in the cardboard packaging. And again, this is just a sample size, so it's pretty small. Um, but I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. So it's very, very moisturizing, but it is slightly tinted, as you can tell. And this has a very, very menthol minty smell. And that's the one thing I hate about Tarte lip products. I swear, most of them, not all of them, but most of them have this menthol minty smell to them. And I cannot stand that smell on a lip product. It is my least favorite. So if you don't like that, then you're not going to like this. But it is a pretty shade. It goes right in line with everything that I've been showing you that's supposed to make you look wet and drenched. So, And then these are the new color, I think these are called the Color Drenched Lipstick, Lipsticks. They're new to the Tarte Rainforest of the Z collection because they have the same packaging. Which, by the way, the packaging for this collection is amazing. It's so, so pretty. But I just have two sample sizes here. This one is in the shade Cabana Boy. And it's kind of like a rosy mauve shade. And these are supposed to be just like, they're just lipsticks, but they're supposed to be really hydrating. And they're supposed to drench your lips in moisture and color. So, there's that one. And then this one is in the shade Beach Bum. And it's more of like a nude. So these are actually really similar in color. Like, can you even tell the difference? Cabana Boy is more purple toned, and then Beach Bum is a little bit more of a red base, I would say. Um, but that's the other thing I don't like about Tarte lip colors is that they just, I don't feel like they have a lot of, don't have a lot of variety in their shades, but these feel really nice on the lips. Um, they do slip and slide around a lot because they're supposed to be very moisturizing. They do not last very long at all, but I think that they're just trying to market this to people. Like if you're going to the beach and you want to have it on and you have chapped lips or something like this would be good for that. So. But the packaging is beautiful. They'll get you with that packaging. So that is it for this little sample box of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. So overall, I think this collection is just, it's for a very specific type of people or a very specific need. Like this is, this collection is strictly for people who want that really, really dewy, really watery, wet look, which is not a ton of people I don't, Think. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm the odd person out. I don't know. But either way, the packaging is beautiful. But in case you were wondering about the new products, any of these products, hopefully I was, this was helpful. Again, I would highly recommend the Marine Boosting Mist. Wonderful smell, wonderful setting spray. Love this stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below with any questions or comments you have about this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!